Hey everybody, how y'all doing out there in YouTube land? Uh, Happy New Year. It's 2018 now, it's the 7th I believe, uh, January 7th. Uh, I came out to the airport to bring a couple of new pieces that I got through the mail. <clears throat> I have been contemplating getting uh, new wire pulled in my wings. Right now I have, I think it's 22 gauge. This is 18 gauge. Now, I've been told it's a little thick. I agree. But it's a good, it's a good sheath cable that can go all the way through the, through the wing and all the conductors are, are shielded themselves, by themselves, individually, and then the all the conductors have one main sheath that goes all around all of the rest of them and keeps them protected. So it's got really good protection. Not that it's going to need a lot of protection because it's going to be in the wing cavity and basically in flight. The, you know, the wing cavity is just going to be maybe encountering a little turbulence. So I think the mo most of the vibration or any abrasion problems that might occur would be on the ground, uh, ground handling, taxiing or something. But yeah, I got this for, I believe this was Amazon as well. Um, gosh, I'm trying to think. I think it was like 35 bucks for 100 feet, something like that. But um, that's the name of it if you guys care to, to look into it. Now, mind you, it is not aluminum. It is copper. I've heard tale that a lot of people will use aluminum because it's lighter. We're talking weight here, ultralight category, 103, et cetera. Um, I agree, I agree it's a lighter um, weight, ultimately. But what my thing is, is I like the, the copper because it's a good conductor and it's more corrosion resistant. So not that I, I'm in a real corrosion prone area because we're in the San Joaquin Valley, it's kind of dry out here. But just in case, um, I'm not going to, I possibly will not be the forever owner of this aircraft. So I want to make sure that it's done good so that who knows, maybe somebody in the Midwest gets this thing and a lot of snow, a lot of rain, whatever, moisture, humidity. So the copper would be better. So, but in any case, yeah, so this is what I got and I have something else coming. Um, but at any case, uh, in any in any case, at any rate, blah, 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 blah. being in front of these cameras is weird, man. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to start running this through my wing sections, my wing cavities. So what I'll do is I'll try to get together, uh, get together. I'll try to put together this camera and my my GoPro because this is a, a Nikon with video. And I'll try to set them up in different spots, so this way it'll give you a better vantage point of everything I'm doing. I've already run wires through the wings, and there's strobes on the end, and I'll sh I can show you that later. But I'm, in my personal opinion, the reason I'm doing this with the, the three conductor, because I know there's only two, generally there's only two on a wingtip strobe. Well, my wing tip strobes are not conventional wing tip strobes. They're El Cheapo, like Amazon.com. Um, I don't know, maybe an auto strobe, auto, automobile strobe, like for under a grill or something. The kind that the cops would use. And one's, one's red, one's green. And I got them for like 16 bucks each. Come on, you know, I mean, to, to go to a, uh, a place like Aircraft Spruce or... Uh, California Power Systems or Wix, anybody that sells aircraft lights, you're going to pay three, minimum 300 bucks probably for, you know, a pair, which is the inexpensive ones. And then we're talking thousands of dollars per pair for very, very good LEDs with, with the three different colors, I think white, green, and then red. So, um, yeah, I... 
that's part of the other thing about building your own plane. If I can get, if I can get by, because it's not really a night plane anyway, but the strobes are bright enough so that somebody in the distance, when I'm in flight, can see me. When I'm taxiing down the uh, taxiway, someone will see me. So it's just basic, basically my, for my own personal safety. And if I, if I hand it off to somebody else, the plane will you know, eventually be somebody else's plane. They'll have some decent light on the ground some, for ground handling and stuff like that. But anyway, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to shut up for right now. I'm going to shut this down. And when I start to work on the wings, I'll go ahead and just point the camera and I'll just shut up and I'm going to just watch me do my thing and what I'll try to do is probably mix some music into this I don't have a good software uh, for editing right now so it's not going to be you know a really well edited video but I'll try to do the best I can with um, uh, Windows Media what is it oh god uh, Windows Movie Maker Windows Live Movie Maker I think is the one I'm using so, we'll talk to you soon. I'm going to cut out for now. Okay. What I'm doing, let me turn this one on. This way I can, uh, Matt. Uh, since I already did it on this one, excuse me, <laughs> belching a little bit. Okay, what we're doing here is we are, going to pull new wire, brand new wire, through the wing and this way it'll be in one sheath and instead of being two conductor like 24 gauge or whatever this stuff is, it'll be a little thicker, it might be too thick, you know, I mean I've been told it's, it's too thick, but um, hold on, let me uh, do something real quick. Okay, hopefully, hopefully that's a little better. Okay, this is 18.3. This is really thin speaker wire. So the problem is, is this is probably better actually, but I got a problem with the fact that these very, very good but very cheap um, Chinese strokes are are made in such a way that I can adjust the patterns. So I think it has like six different strobe patterns on it, but you have to have all three wires. There's three wires available. The hot, the ground, and then another that is like a switch ground. You tap it to the ground and it will change the, the pattern of these strobes. So they can be solid, they can be wigwag, they can be pulsed. But you have to have that second, I mean that third wire, and touch it to the ground to be able to get these things to change. Well, what I'm doing, I could, leave, I could have left them the way they were. But what I want to do is I want to have a switch up in the, up in the cockpit, the pilot seat, a momentary. So I can go click, 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 and somebody could be standing at the outside of the wing and say, wigwag, they're steady, they're off, whatever. And then I can custom tailor them to what I want and pick the best pattern. Because at this point, I don't know what the best pattern is. I really don't want to leave them on all the time. I'd rather have them flash. So this way, if somebody off in the distance while I'm flying it sees a flash, that's, you know, it might, it might be more noticeable than just a steady on light. And I'm not supposed to be out past dark anyway, so I'm, ne I'm never going to have to worry about it because it's part 103 and I can only stay out till. Um, sunset and then 30 minutes past it. So I think that's called civil twilight. They give you 30 minutes after the sun goes completely down. You got 30 minutes to get your butt on the ground. Anyway, yeah. So that's why I'm changing this because I want to be able to switch the the varied patterns. Or I could have just left it and moved on to another step. But this is part of my anal problem that you know with this new airplane thing. I've never done this before. And I want it to be really cool for the next guy if, if in case I sell it. So that's what I'm doing. So for that, might sound, you know, stupid to a lot of people. Don't hate on me. It's just, you know, one guy that's a builder, he told me, 
hey, it's the way you want to do it. So don't worry about what any, anyone else thinks. So I'm not. I'm just going to do my thing. Hopefully it'll, it'll be, hopefully it will be really a novelty kind of thing. And people will go, hey, you know, that's really cool. Chair, pull the wire, and tie the wire to this, you know, and then it'll go all the way through to the end. So, but until I get to that stage, which I'm not there yet, first thing I need to do is take this other light off. So what I'll do is I'll try to drill this out very carefully, because it's uh, kind of precarious. So what happened was, is the pin in the middle of the rivet broke off weird. Let me see if I can fix it a little bit. Flatten it a little bit. Okay, that should work. Hopefully you're seeing this on the GoPro. So it came apart, the wire came apart, and it's stuck on something. I don't know what. Okay. Loose. Okay, so we got those guys loose. So now I'll cut out and I'm going to cut these. I'll open up this. Expose some of the wire, splice it to one or the other of these, and then I will pull it through. Okay, they're done. I'm just going to use this one side to show you the example. Okay. Here's the different patterns. That's the one I'm going to use. Out of all the patterns, I like this pattern the best. So that's what I'll use. But basically, that's what they are. And the other side will be red. So I can't show you that right now because I don't have the wires exposed. Um, so, but that's basically the $15 strobe from Amazon. I'm telling you, man. Okay, we're cutting out till, uh, till later. Talk to you soon.